I am Claire Kenny, and I am a mom, and I think that being a mom is the most important job in the world, and I'm not joking. <laughs> we have um, six kids. Our oldest is Thomas, he's 11. Daniel is nine, Sarah is seven, Lydia is five, James is two, and Isaac is almost five months. Sarah, Lydia, time to wake up. Good morning. You ready? Let's get going, okay? Morning is crazy here. We are up at 6.30 and going. Um, we have breakfast. We have kids reading. We have kids practicing their musical instruments. And uh, then getting dressed. And I have no idea why, but my kids, like, I swear it should only take like 10 minutes to get your clothes on and like be dressed, but it's like a 40 minute process. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, come on, turn the water off in the shower, get out, put your clothes on. Why are you lying on the floor? Get up off the floor. But, <laughs> but it's great, it's great. They crack me up and they also infuriate me sometimes. <laughs> Every morning I have a little magazine that I read to my kids from. Look at me, I'm a truck. Quack, quack, he says. That's not what a truck says. And now I'm I really like it. It's a great way to kind of start our morning um, with a nice quiet moment when the rest of the morning is really crazy. Their mouths are full of food so they can't talk back. And then Phil always comes in with his like, crazy alternate endings that make us laugh and teach us lessons. He's running around on the train track where his mom and dad told him not to run around on. The next day, all of a sudden, he goes. In the morning, when I go upstairs into my bedroom, I have some things called tags, and they're, and they're things that my mom made up to uh, do my chores and stuff in the morning. Once I do one of the chores, uh, I put the tag to the other side and it helps me to remember my chores, like to pick up my toys or make my bed. Get your bed made, make your bed, pick up your clothes. This morning, my siblings got their socks, like all of their socks and tried to defeat our dad with socks. We get a big pile, and then we each grab about 10 or 15 socks. When Dad like, says go, we start chucking the socks at each other. Yeah, usually, usually at Dad. It didn't help my mom so much because when we were done, some of the socks fell off of the bed and they were on the ground and she had to pick them up. Yeah, having six kids, just having six kids sometimes can make it too much to handle. That is a hard thing, um, feeling a little bit stretched thin in my abilities to take care of um, everyone at the same time. Um, and hoping, hoping too, that in doing that, that I am doing a good enough job in all of those areas. I don't know, I look around me and I see so many of my friends, their kids are dressed so nicely and I'm coming with my kids, I'm like, whatever, they picked out their own clothes. But gosh, at the same time, maybe I'm a refreshing breath of air for people because, because they're like, oh, well, she doesn't have it together. Maybe I don't have to have it together all the time either. So, oh bless you. Oh bless you, cute guy. Oh bless you again. That was cute. Part of our morning routine is singing a song called Make It A Good Day that was started by my mom. I think it was a song she learned when she was a teenager. And uh, she sang it to us on the way to school every morning. And so now I do the same thing with my kids. We sing the same Make It A Good Day song. Make it a good day. 